Hey everybody! Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want and today I want to play with this thing someone got me where I make my own erasers but miniature style and also like I, it's back to school season but I'm 27 I haven't been in school in a very very long time like six years so I don't feel like I'm equipped to make a back to school video because I ain't going back to school but I will make some tiny little erasers ready let's begin so I also today I uh, was using a table saw and I turned the table saw off and then went to grab the wood and forgot that the table saw blade takes a while to actually like calm down. So it was off but still spinning at a very high rate and I touched the saw blade. I kind of uh, ripped half my fingernail off today. So let's see if I can still mold these little eraser clays into the things I want. Let's be real, I wouldn't be able to do it even if my finger was functional. What are these cardboard cutouts? Very confused. They gave me a pencil without an eraser. They have full faith in their product. I'm just saying. I don't know what I want to make. They give you tips and tricks. Oh goodness. Oh, because I am going to Australia, I'm gonna make a koala. Okay, whenever I say koala bear, everyone's like, it's not actually a bear. But that's its name, is koala bear. So I don't get why people get so mad about it, but I'm making a koala. Page 34. I'm making this. So I don't know what these cutouts are for. Oh, there's a pizza pizza. There's a pizza box. Oh, we will be making pizza. Oh, this is just a bunch of balls. I can handle some balls. Oh, that's cool. They give you the actual size you need to make it. That's pretty nifty if you ask me. Okay, so I just have to think I'm supposed to need it. Okay, okay. I can see better up close without my glasses. All right, so I need it. Is this kneading right? Knees what you're doing with dough, right? You just kind of like mush it around. Why do they have to make a weird name for it? You're mushing. You're okay. Paige, you need to learn to stay open or I'll teach you to. So here we go. I've made that. Okay, that is a really ugly ball. Hold on. Give me a second. How do you make it so there's no creases? You have to roll it for a really long time. Oh, this is a good hand massage. Oh, that's nice. That is an amazing ball. Like, you can't even imagine how amazing it is. That's a good ball. All right. That is the size. That was the perfect amount I needed for the head. Oh my god, I'm amazing. Now for the body. Oh, this is gonna take a lot of repetitiveness, huh? Like, I have to do this every time. Oh, and my hands are blue. I'm a smurf. My dog is so pissed. All right. Is that enough? There we go. Feels like gum. No, that turned more into an oval with a crack in it. Come on now. A hedgehog? That is an ugly hedgehog. That is the ugliest hedgehog I've ever seen. Why does this keep turning into like a little almond shape? I can't even, I don't know which, I don't care enough to focus the cameras. There we go. Okay. No, still an almond. Be a ball. I did this so well the last time. Okay, it's a little big. Take off a little bit. This is gonna be some precise work for an eraser that I'll never use. No, it's still too big. Now I gotta make the ears and the arms and the legs. This is gonna take forever. I think I could only make like one of each of these things because I'm gonna run out of clay. They say it's special eraser clay, but like this feels just like normal clay. And now I dropped my clay. Come on. I thought this was gonna be a short video. I was wrong. Oh, I forgot to knead it. Oh, this koala looked easy. I didn't know there was this much work involved. Sure. There. One more leg and I'm done. <laughs> oh, knead it. So the instructions at the end of this say I have to bake them for 30 minutes. No more than 30 minutes. But they could be done at five minutes. So keep an eye on them. What? From five to three minutes. So for 25 minutes, I was supposed to keep an eye on this to make sure it's all good in the hood. That actually made sense because good in the hood, there's a hood in the oven. The oven range is a hood. So that actually made sense. Flatten the ears into pancakes. Make two little dents in the ears so they look more like koala ears. These are my ears. Those are my legs. Boop. Nailed it. Oh, now it's come. Oh, it's stuck. It got stuck to my flat. Flatten you. Boop. Okay. And then make little dents. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Done. Nailed it. Oh my god, I'm amazing. Wait, the head is bigger than the body on a koala? This I did not know. Stick the ears on the side of the head. That is way easier said than done. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing I've ever made in my life. Uh, looks kind of like an elephant. Doesn't look more like kind of like an elephant right now? Yes, maybe so? No? Roll the arms and legs into cones and then stick them to the side of the body. I'm really good at this. Maybe my calling in life is clay making. I did grow up on Wallace and Gromit. Oh my god, this is freaking adorable. This is perfect. Get out of my face. Get out of my life. Oh my goodness. Stop it. Just stop it. <gasps> stop it. Like, come on. I haven't even put a face on it yet and it's already freaking adorable. <sighs> I like that they give you the exact sizes everything should be. That is very nice of them. And these are little eyes. 
Okay, not as cute when it's got its face on it. I'm gonna say, I think it was a little cuter without a face. I definitely didn't make it better, I made it worse. But you know what, it's still cute. You're still the cutest little koala, and I'm gonna say koala bear. You guys can get mad at me. I know it doesn't have the qualifications <laughs> to be a bear. What is my next project? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna make pizza. I'm a woman with a plan. No, oh dear God, no. We're making the sloth. We're gonna make the sloth. Get out, leave. I mean, you can stay. stay for the video, I need the views. Oh yes, it's just one giant lump. Sloths I don't think can get more relatable. It is literally just one giant lump the whole way through. <sighs> I'm so happy. I will gladly make you. Look at me go. My ball wasn't big enough. So rude. I just heard a weird noise. There she blows. This one is the easiest by far. I got these little tiny eyes and they're so tiny I'm rolling the small little balls. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. It's like, do I need to wash my hands between colors? I don't care enough to do that. So we're just not gonna do that. I don't think that these are gonna erase. Let's make predictions. Cause I think, I think they're gonna look cute, but I think they're gonna be one of those erasers that like, that smudges the lead around, but doesn't actually like erase anything. I think it's gonna be that kind of eraser. Oh, I should've washed my hands. I definitely got some uh, purple on that. And you know what? My finger isn't as big an issue as I thought it would be. So look kids, you can chop your fingers off, still get through life just fine. Don't chop your fingers off. I'm gonna look real cute in all my meet and greet photos with this on, hey yo! All right, let's make this. Roll the body into an oval with a skinny middle. Oh, dreams. To be an oval with a skinny middle. I don't know, I don't even know what that would look like. You're an oval with a skinny, no, oh, too skinny, too skinny. Oh no, I have to start over again. That was more difficult than I thought it would be. Ugh. All right, oval, let's use my pinkies. Skinny middle, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get this. You know what, it's fine, it's fine. Use the knife edge of the tool to make an X in one of the thick parts of the oval, then pinch out the four corners of the X to make arms and legs. What? Who do they think I am? How can I pinch? Oh, that just looks terrible. That looks terrible. Oh, I made it have a penis for a second. No, don't have a penis, but I also don't want you to have a vagina. I don't want I want you to have anything. But who am I to tell you what body parts to have? Oh God, this is terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Wait, wrap the arms and legs around a pencil, spreading them out so that they grab the pencil but doesn't meet in the middle. This is so terrifying. I'm gonna smush it. All right, I take it back. I'm such a disappointment to Wallace and Gromit. Oh no, my nose got stuck in the crack. I don't think that I have ever made anything so terrifying. <laughs> Oh God. Well, leave that one over there and then we'll bake that in a minute. And then we're gonna make some pizza. Oh, beautiful, too big, perfect. Oh, oh, yellow, you are a tough one to crack. Still too big. I'm gonna form this and I'll get back to you. I made pizza, pepperoni. Don't worry, it's vegan. And now I think I'm gonna make the sushi and I think that will be it. What time is it? Yeah, I th I've spent a sufficient amount of time on this. So you just need white, white on rice. Not gonna wash my hands, don't care. She can be a little colorful. She can be uh, some fried rice. <laughs> It'll be fried rice. Is there a fried rice sushi? No, because it has to be sticky rice, right? It's, has someone dared to be stupid enough to make a fried rice sushi roll? I don't think it can work, because it has to, you have to like use vinegar and stuff to make the sticky rice, right? There's gotta be someone who's tried it. It is really difficult to get the right size. I've been going at this a while. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, I need my fillings. This is a little bit of filling. Roll the rice into a long snake and shape it into a long flattened oval where your pencil is a good tool for your rolling it flat and even. Tell me how to do things. Oh God, it is every color but white right now. It's like a jawbreaker. It looks like a jawbreaker with a bunch of specks of other colors in it. I really should have washed my hands. Oh well. Making the snake. Making the snake. Made a snake. Great, now flatten it. Boop, boop. Oh no, it's not even. It's not like it's gonna work anyway. Okay, did it. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh wait, no, I don't see. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, I see. This is gonna blow your minds. It is, trust me. Freaking look. Uh, is it gonna focus? It's not gonna focus, is it? Wait, can I cut these? That looks more precise. Nope, I've ruined it. Never mind. take it back. I take it all back. All right, so we're gonna bake these and then we're gonna use them. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. I don't know what they're supposed to look like. I'm just gonna do increments of five minutes until like they start to like melt or burn or something. 
Okay, so I cooked them for 25 minutes and it's been an hour and 15 to let them cool. And we still get to do the thing to the sushi. So apparently you just do some pencil and then you roll the sushi in it. So it looks like there's seaweed on the outside. This just looks like really dirty. That's the stupidest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, but the true test. So we've got our little koala bear, cute. Cute. I mean, you know, the face isn't that cute, but the body's cute. And then we got our little, uh, this looks like a scream character, like a scary movie character, doesn't it? What is this? Oh no, 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 it looks like the, the evil things in Yoshi. That's what it looks like. It's supposed to be a sloth. I failed on that one. Here's my pizza. Oh wait, I have the pizza box. The whole reason I did the freaking thing. I don't, I don't know how to do this. Very confused on how to make this pizza box. All right, and then I put my pizza in it. My pizza doesn't fit. Hold on, I'll make it fit. You are going to fit pizza. I mean, it doesn't fit. <laughs> This was a stupid design! And then lastly, we have sushi. What? I don't even know. So we've made these. They seem squishy like an eraser. Uh, they haven't fallen apart. I can't really take this one apart from that. Oh, let's see if this fits on the pencil. The sloth fits on the pencil, everybody. We have a pencil sloth. Okay, so I don't want to ruin them by like erasing things with them, but that's what they're for. Okay, so let's write something. I love you. Okay. Now, oh, she's, the sloth does not stay on the pencil. But let's see if the sloth erases. Ready? And, well, um, uh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Well, it, it, it kind of erases. It doesn't erase. It does not erase. And then my sloth looks like he got run over by a car. <sighs> let's try the sushi. Mm. No, it's like a really bad erase. It's, hold on, pizza, pizza. No, it's, it's just, it just doesn't do it. I mean, like it sort of gets rid of the things, but you can totally still see it. And it's still, you know, let me get a real eraser. Hold on, let me show you. Real pencil eraser. Here we go. You know what, this one kind of sucks too. Is my writing just really intense? Hold on. Oh no, yeah, my, my real eraser worked better than the ones I made. I mean, it was a cute try, but like this koala would fall apart part the second you used it. See, that's the thing. Like, yeah, they're cute, but they're not really that functional. But I'm not mad about it. Cause like, I wouldn't ever have the, the strength to use this as an actual eraser. I'm sorry, you didn't like being poked in the bum? I forgot to make it as a thing to put on the top. It's more of like a pencil topper. If I had thought the process through enough to put this on the top of my pencil, it'd be a cute pencil topper, but not so much an eraser. And this was a cute attempt, but she falls off. All right, guys, I guess that's it for today. I mean, I gotta go to Australia tomorrow, so I should probably go pack. But I've had this for a while, and I didn't, I thought it was just a clay thing, and then I realized it was an eraser thing. Oh, wait, I was supposed to try, draw eyes on the sloth. Where'd the sloth go? Let's see if that makes it any less creepy. Is that any less creepy of a sloth? I don't think so. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. I don't have my phone on me to do the shout out. Oh, God. Here Here's the shout out. Thank you so much for retweeting that last video. I love you guys. I hope to see some of you and hug you guys in Australia. And remember guys, above all else, stay awesome possums.